Hey guys, welcome back to Amber Reviews and today we'll be doing an unboxing and on feet video of the Gucci Horsebit Leather Loafers. So I've wanted a formal piece in my collection for a while. I have some cheap ones that I've bought just to get by, but I wanted something classic, I wanted something nice. To be fair, I don't even work in a place where I have to dress up. In fact, I probably chose my last five years of workplaces where I don't have to wear anything formal, just because I just hate dressing up. This is the shoe I'm going to be reviewing today. Um, and as you can see, it just comes in a generic Gucci box. It's got no labels, it's got no, you know, sizing, nothing on it. I didn't even know what shoe I had because I kind of remember which one I purchased. Um, and all you get is the simple Gucci white face with the black writing at the front. So when you're opening up the box, you essentially get presented with this beautiful black leather shoe. I went with a classic look. I wanted the horse bit because it was kind of iconic. I wanted uh, leather because and black leather because it just kind of goes with most things. And if you're going to spend that much money, I want as much versatility with the shoe as possible. And I also went with the loafer that can collapse down at the back so you can wear it two styles, which I'll show a bit later in the videos with the on feet and you know, and some close ups. What you do get inside the box are two. Gucci shoe travel bags and if you're like me these will remain in the box because I just don't get enough opportunities to bring them with me and even if I was wearing the shoes I'd probably just whack them in the bag anyway so it does look a bit feminine and you can see that when it's on feet. I think with the whole outfit, it kind of ties together, but kind of when zoomed in, just looking at it, it does look a bit feminine. Maybe because it's a bit narrow at the front, maybe because of the gold kind of polished buckles. I wish that they had scored the bottom of the shoe. I wanted it to be a lot less slippery. Like, I mean, I'm walking with these shoes in on like a dry surface if it's slightly angled it's like riding it's like on roller skates sometimes so you got to be careful maybe pay some extra to get it scored i don't like ruining the shoe i kind of roughed it up with like just rubbing my feet against the pavement to get a bit of the kind of grip in regards to sizing i went through the size it does say it's a size 9 but it is a uk 9 hence an au 9 hence a us 10 so i went through the size i would personally suggest going into store to try them. The lady at the store did tell me to go kind of half a size down or a full size down, mainly because they thought it ran large. I found that at the top, it's a bit narrow, so I needed the kind of uh, true the size to make it a bit more comfortable. It does stretch because it's leather, but eh, it doesn't stretch that much. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Please help the channel out, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's see what these guys look like on feet.